Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Eve Echoes. Today, it's part three of Player Structures tutorial series, and uh, as promised today, we are going to focus on uh, the Resource Extraction Management Service, uh, which is basically a module that you can fit on the outpost. We're still on the outpost, by the way. This will be the last episode in which we talk about the uh, Capture Layer Outpost. Uh, starting with episode 4 in the series, we will be taking on the guide on how to build, how to deploy, and how to manage a corporation citadel. Do remember to like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing here. And if you really want to help this channel out, uh, there's a YouTube channel membership. You can donate something as small as $2 monthly. So let's get down to business. We've got the uh, Caption Lay Outpost. We've already presented a link in the description to the playlist. Uh, how to build it, how to deploy it, how to manage it, how to set it up. And we also talked about fitting. And... In fitting on low slots, there's two low slots you can fit uh, with one industry low slot, uh, actually with uh, one industry service, and with uh, one um, resource extraction management service. You do this if you really want that industry service. Turns out that, you know, industry service just gives you basic functionalities. Uh, let's go into the inventory quickly and I'll show you guys uh, what I mean. So, industry service center. It only allows you to use the production, the reverse engineering, and the reprocessing. But if you take a look at the resource extraction, uh, this is a whole new other thing that does a whole new bunch of other stuff. This is the module for PI that helps you uh, build your PI infrastructure, not only in the system, but in the entire constellation in which the Capsule Layer Outpost resides. For example, uh, fitting one in your Capsule Layer Outpost will give the same as um, the industry service to defense reinforcements, which again, uh, as I mentioned in the previous videos, we will be touching in one of the episodes where we will be talking in general about uh, reinforcements and how they work. But let's take a look below at the bonuses given for PI. Unfortunately, these bonuses only apply to you the owner of the Capsule Outpost, even though you're going to be um, in it with a, a, an entire corporation trying to, you know, to manage it, to keep it alive, to defend it, blah, blah, blah. The Capsule Layer Outpost is still yours, uh, which is just one character. And basically all these bonuses apply only to you. So we've got mining time increase in current constellation. That's 24 hours extra. When you go to the planetary interaction and you start uh, populating a planet and you start your mining race, the maximum amount of time that they can mine, that can be set up to mine, is uh, actually uh, the cycle it takes 24 hours. With a resource extraction management center, that is increased with another by another 24 hours. So in total, you get 48 hours mining cycle in which you don't even need to attend the mining arrays to refresh the cycle. We've got mining cargo increase in current constellation, uh, which is another an extra 200 cubic meters. Mining, and this, this, this is the juicy part, by the way. Mining planets increase in current constellation. You get an extra three planets that you can deploy your mining arrays to. And... Uh, we've got mining arrays also increased in current constellation by four, meaning you c for each planet, the amount that you could deploy in terms of mining arrays, well, you can add four more arrays to each planet. So you can end up to an astonishing number just by having uh, planetary uh, interactions a skills set to 5, 5, and 4, which is the expert one, level 4, get to the astonishing number of 12 planets, each with 20 mining arrays. That is insane. Of course, if you go for level 5 in expert planetology, you will get a, an additional 2 uh, mining arrays. So in total, with 5, 5, 5 in skills, you can populate 12 planets, uh, with 22 arrays um, each if but you can do this only by doing something extra uh, which is 
very interesting because you know the fitting well you'd say i want to fit an industry service and i want to fit a resource extraction uh, service but what if you fit two of them well guess what it works you can go ahead uh, enter manage go to structure fitting and just put two of them so we have two resource extractions right here this will increase by three planets in four mining rays per each planet so we fitted one of them and now we're going to fit the second and this will further down increase to three more planets and four more mining arrays per each planet so we've got two resource extraction management service centers holy shit so as i mentioned 12 planets 22 mining arrays per each planet so let's go ahead and test this a bit shall we <laughs> because it's really neat if you really want to have a, like a character that is specifically um, built for pi in nullsec in an alliance you can set up one of these uh, corporation outposts i know it takes a lot to build but uh, having so many mining arrays sure you can do this with alts with stuff but i'm still not sure if these bonuses could be ported out uh, to corporation members uh, this is something that we should ask because from what I'm aware of, uh, these bonuses only apply to you, which are the uh, Capture Layer Outpost owner. Heading over into the planetary interaction, we're going to settle on... Uh, let's see if we can find something perfect. No perfect, this system is poop. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is, reactive gas. And we're going to place some development arrays. Reactive gas. How many can we put? Oh, look at that. 14 plus 8 mining arrays. How much do we mine? And look at it. You can get to astonishing number of hours per cycle. 72 hours. That's 24 for by uh, that's 24 from a default value to 48 with one resource uh, extraction management service center and 72 with two such modules fitted on the uh, capsule layer outpost so if you click on the reactive gas for example because we just uh, set up our stuff we're going to see that we mine security level output modified to 250 percent output efficiency per hour which is close to a thousand well if you are in a more decent nullsec system with a much lower security status then the security level output modifier will be even bigger and that's going to yield you a lot of stuff but it's funny uh being able to fit two of these as you may be aware or may not be aware the corporation citadel already has incorporated the industry service center and has no fitting panel to, in order to fit additional modules like defense uh, weapons I don't know why these were completely eliminated um, and the fitting screen actually the fitting service for the citadel outpost um, has been the corporation citadel has been completely removed which is weird because it's again reinventing the wheel but it would be nice to have these bonuses at, at a corporation level imagine having multiple people I know this might cause some abuse by people running farms not necessarily bot farms but farms with PI characters with PI accounts may be able to set up this astonishing number of planets and mining arrays for each tune I mean the prices there will be so much supply in planetary uh, materials that the prices will severely drop I'm guessing that's why they didn't go for for the fitting and being able to add um, the resource extraction management center to that as well if you, if you have uh, any other questions regarding uh, this module or any other modules in, in terms of the capsule layer outpost and how it's fitted and how it works uh, be sure to leave a comment below and also remember we have our weekly community question of the week giveaway uh, that's two Omega Combo prizes awaiting two lucky randomly pick winners on Wednesday and to participate, answer the community question of the week. And this week, the question is, 
insurance system is it good or is it bad what's your impression of it i got a few uh, comments already and i'm really interested in finding out more uh, of your feedback and your suggestions what should be done to improve it maybe something it, it, maybe it's already good maybe you have some unanswered questions all of that i can pass down to the devs and maybe we can get some relevant information and answers that's it for today uh, i hope you guys learned something thank you guys for watching very big shout out to my channel supporters and i'll see you guys next time cheers